I'm going to be your guinea pig. Hello boys and girls, Kevin, your budget travel guy here, and today I'm going to show you two ways that you can secure your older road trek, older RV, or older van from thieves, because nobody wants criminals running off with the stuff that you worked hard for. So these are two things you may not have thought of yet that you can easily do, so let's get to it. Of door locks, and it may or may not apply to you, but let's look and see what type of door locks you have on your vehicle from the different types that are out there. Now, if you have a fairly modern, probably in the last 15 or 20 years rig, you probably have some type of slider door lock or push door lock that was made to where they can't easily be opened by someone with a coat hanger, which is what people did for about the first 80 years that automobiles were in existence. So if you have something like this, some type of slide, you are probably good to go. The problem is if you have something different like this. Now, this particular vehicle is a 93 Road Trek. It's a Dodge van frame. The brand doesn't matter. This is the way vehicles used to be made. And if you have an older van, RV, Road Trek, Class B, doesn't matter. Of any style, you may have door locks like this. And if they're made like this and have this cute little bulb on top, that is absolutely perfect and easy for someone to be able to drop a coat hanger down into, pull up, and they are in your vehicle. Whether or not that concerns you may not matter, but here is my concern with the way these are made. This one has a really nice screen and a pop-out window. Try to move over here so you can see. Now for a security flaw, it is not hard for somebody to just reach through here. So if you happen to go into a store, you go on a hike, you leave one of these windows open on a hot day, it's going to take about three seconds for somebody to poke through that screen, reach in there, pop that up. And they are going to be in your rig. Even worse, is the bed area opens up on mine has this giant window that opens exactly the same way and has this same type of system so if you're trying to get some ventilation while you're sleeping you may have these windows open and this just makes it way too easy for someone to get into your rig and maybe you're a light sleeper maybe you would hear them if something like that went on maybe you have a dog with you that would start barking that would be great for me, once I thought about this, this was a big security issue, and especially for women, I can see this being a big security issue, because if you're running any type of fans, maybe you have a generator, an air conditioner going, maybe you have the, the furnace going in the wintertime, it's going to be way too easy for somebody to pop this lock, pop the one on the back, and be in your rig with you. So we don't want that to happen. The good thing is regardless of brand, all of these things are pretty much universal back in the day which means these simply unscrew. And for security, what you want to do is replace these with something that does not have that big bulb head on it that someone can easily reach in and grab, can easily go down through the door with a coat hanger and grab. So as an option, you can purchase these to replace your door locks. If you can get one that's almost flush, and these are a little bit tall, so what I probably will end up doing is cutting these off. Since this particular set is made out of plastic, that still sticks up too far. Because what we want is with that lock engaged, we want that to barely be there. We want it to not be obvious to someone looking through from the outside how easy it is to pop that lock. So what you want is something flat 
or something rounded, something smooth, but something that does not have a bulb head on it. A couple of other things when we're dealing with, with safety on the road. Of course, we've discussed these door locks and things already, and I hope that makes sense to you. And now you have a cheap solution if you have one of these older vehicles, especially for you ladies, that you can make this a little bit more secure. Some other things that you're going to want to pick up that aren't going to cost you a lot of money. The first one is you are going to want some type of locking gas cap. You can usually pick these up any auto parts store. You'll have to get one specific to your vehicle. They'll run you about $15. And gas is cheap right now. Still always more expensive when you hit the West Coast. But if you're in a van, a full-size van like this, you get, or in any type of RV, you're starting to get up into gas tanks that are 25 gallons and higher. So you can have a lot of money drained out while you're gone, while you're not looking, while you're stopped somewhere. So if this keeps that from happening to you one time, it has more than paid for itself. Now you folks and ladies that are already out on the road, I'm sure you're already doing something. You may have some knives in your vehicle. Of course you use knives for, for cooking and cutting. You probably have one stuck in the, the door panel or something. In that odd chance that someone was going to try to break in to you, you have a bad situation. These things honestly don't happen much on the road. But just like anywhere in the world, you can be in what you think is the safest neighborhood. You can go look at the nicest block on any city. And if you start talking to the neighbors that have lived there for 20 years, I guarantee they can tell you some horrible story of something that happened on their block. So crime does happen everywhere and you just need to be sensible and be pre prepared for it. Some people carry bear spray. You're dealing with some extra chemicals and some laws shooting that in somebody's face. I know some people are big on wasp spray and if it's the only thing I can get my hands on, yeah, I'm going to defend myself with it or whatever else I can put my hands on. A lot of people carry some type of pepper spray I have one I like much better than this one I just tried out. And as a matter of fact, I believe as a little bonus, when I get up to a thousand subscribers, which, which should happen here in the next month or two, I believe I'm going to do an experiment with this because I've been thinking about this for a while anyway, just for my own peace of mind. I've seen videos on YouTube of different people and they're trying different versions of this and they're shooting it at a paper plate stuck to a tree. Some of them are obviously much better than others. And I want to know which one works well. I want to know which one is a gel that will stick, not just a mist that's going to be swept away by the wind or worst case scenario, come back and hit you in the face. So later on, I'm going to do a real video and we're going to real world test a couple of these things. And I'm going to be your guinea pig. I'm going to get a buddy to help me. Maybe I'll get the girl you see in a lot of our videos. I know some of you have made comments that you'd like to see more of her because you hear her talking. She's a little camera shy, except for being in that, that shower tent uh, video on how to take it down. But I have a feeling if she has the opportunity to shoot me in the face with pepper spray, I believe that will get her to agree to appear on camera. But I believe that's what I'm going to do. We're going to shoot a video. I'm going to be the attacker and I'm going to find out and you're going to find out with me, especially you ladies, you're going to find out how well this stuff works at actually stopping someone and giving you time to get away. So we have a lot of things coming up on this channel, not just me being shot in the face with pepper spray. So hope you'll stick around for all of those bicycles you guys know I carry a bicycle I'm not big on outside racks so daytime the bike is generally you know inside with me that means at night it has to go outside somewhere so I carry a couple of decent bike locks the same brand chained together so they will be long enough that I can get that wrapped around a picnic table no picnic table I can get that wrapped around a good-sized tree 
if I'm really in the desert and I don't even have trees around to do this with, I can lock it to the bumper or the door handle or something to secure it so it doesn't walk off in the middle of the night. I don't carry an expensive bicycle anyway, but you and I both know there are some people will take anything they can get their hands on, anything they think they can walk off with. It's just a fact of life. So if you've been out and you've looked at bike locks, you know, $10, $15 bike locks, again, if somebody wants to cut through one bad enough, someone shows up with a pair of bolt cutters, you know, they'll have that lock off of there in five seconds. But you can't prevent everything, but basic things that you can do for safety are going to be a deterrent for 98% of the stuff that you're going to have to deal with. Because these idiots that do this stuff, they'll simply move on to an easier target. So if you have bikes, don't just set them outside your, your van or your RV and hope they're still there the next morning. Generally, they're going to be because most of the people you camp with are pretty good people and they don't mess with anything. But some aren't. Sometimes you're dealing with locals in these little towns and they, they are just, they're more than happy to make you a victim take what you worked for.